Okay, this is Adobe Edge Animate, and I wanted to show you just a few things you can do with it. This is not a replacement for Flash, but it does have the capability to make simple banners. So that little percentage of what Flash does, this thing will do and give you a nice HTML5 file um, if you want to go that way. So I'm going to go to uh, File and just Save As and give this thing a, uh, a home. So we'll call this test2 and go inside that and we'll call this uh, file test2 also. And uh, here we are and now let's just show that we can insert graphics if we want to. So I'll go to file, import, and we'll import the green robot and uh, just stick him over there. and. Let's go ahead and show that we can animate him and then we'll add some text and some other stuff. So uh, what I'll do is down here I will, now that he is selected, I will just turn on the auto keyframe tool and um, I think I'm going to size him down just a little bit with my shift key held down. And then I'll go to frame for for one second. I'll go to on the timeline to the one second mark and I'll go ahead and hold the shift key down and scale him bigger. Maybe that's good right there. Notice that we've got a little bit of snapping which is great. There's some nice design tools built into Edge Animate. And we can see if we drag the timeline the animation works pretty nicely. Let's do something else. Let's uh, add another uh, rectangle. Let's do a rounded rectangle put that on our stage just something like that and for this rounded rectangle I'll start at the zero mark and we'll just let it be gray there or maybe change its color a little bit actually before I do anything let's turn on the auto keyframe tool and let's just give this thing a little bit of different color and drag it now to frame for one second and let's change the color again something obviously different and that should do something yeah so that animated too see the color of that rectangle is animated as well and just something else simple we can do let's throw some text on the top uh, choose your character whatever and we can select that and say that oh, I want that to be um, font weight that's like extra bold let's say or uh, change the size in pixels um, to 28 okay move it around you'll notice the tools are pretty easy to use there's other things I could change here I won't worry about it I click on the stage again and we can change the size of the stage I'm going with 550 by 400 but it doesn't really matter and I can click this and make that stage transparent if you want to. So if you want something with rounded corners you could do that. Uh, and I can change my stage color of course but I won't bother. And uh, I think that's enough. Oh we can animate this text if we want to. The same way as we did but we, I don't think I've done anything where we moved it so let's do it with the text. We're on the zero second mark. I'll just move this. I'll turn on my auto key. I'll move this down a little bit. Notice I've got a little line that helps me. Pull it down. And actually, uh, then I'll go back up. It doesn't really matter. And you can see that that text is animated as well. Okay, so now I want to add some functionality to this. Well, let's look at it in the browser first. So I'll go ahead and save this. And File Preview in Browser. And I'll show you what this looks like in the browser. And I'll just refresh it so you can see it. Okay, so it's just going to play one time. And it's going to be, you know, not a bad little banner. But uh, we need something, some way to click and go to a website. And it would be nice to have some kind of a hover effect. So when the mouse goes over it, it looks like something. So let's deal with those things now. First thing under cursor, I'm going to click on auto here. And pick the pointer that looks like a little Mickey Mouse hand which is a nice way to say you've hovered something. And uh, I want to change my stage background color too, but because I want you to see how big this is when we uh, start working 
in the browser again. So that's done. And let's go ahead and add one more uh, rectangle. And this will be our button that will be kind of over the whole thing. So I'll select all this, make a giant button, and uh, it's just called rectangle here, but let's call it BTN. And uh, I want to be able to see all my stuff I did, so I'm going to take this transparency or this opacity and bring it way, way down, but not all the way down. Let's say like that, 5%. So that's my button, and you can see it here in my list. I'm going to double click that button. Uh, just click anywhere on it. Oh, not yet. Forgot something. Modify, convert to symbol. And I'll call the symbol name BTNSYM, button symbol. And I'll turn off the autoplay timeline. Okay, I'll tell you about why in a second. And we'll hit OK. And now this is a symbol. This is called button symbol now. See that? So let's double click that and get inside it. Just like you do, uh, like you can get inside of um, movie clips in Flash, you can do the same thing with Adobe Edge Animate and get inside your symbols. Now in this symbol, it's got its own timeline, much like a movie clip can have a timeline inside of itself. So uh, what I'll do is just make a slight change on this. I'll click on the button um, and we'll uh, change our let's say we'll change our uh, opacity down to nothing it frames at the zero second mark and at the one second mark we'll bump our opacity up significantly just so it's real obvious to us okay um, but when you're doing that don't forget to turn on the auto key. Okay, so I did that. And I'll go to the one second mark and I'll bump my opacity a little higher. And it should, I didn't make the change yet, so I'll come back here and bump it lower again. Okay, there it did. It may take a little while to get it to um, recognize that you made a change. When you turn on this Auto Key tool, it will generally make it real easy to animate. I'm going to make this just a little bit more extreme by adding some color changes. So when we do that hover, it's going to be really obvious. Okay, so you can see here, opacity is changing from 0 to 12 or 16 and background color is changing from white to kind of a reddish color. So two things we've animated on the timeline of the symbol. Now let's go back to the stage. Similar to when you have flash, you've got a stage and like a movie clip that you might be inside of. So I'm going to go back to the stage by clicking it. I'm back on the stage now and now I'm ready to add some intelligence, some code to this symbol. See there's the symbol, button symbol. I'm going to click on this little curly brackets here which is like my action script editor but in this case it's a JavaScript editor. So I'll click it and the first thing I want to do is a mouse over event. Now with mouse over I want to do this. Now I've got to show you where I found something. There is a nice site called um, Adobe Edge Animate JavaScript API. If you search that, you'll probably come right to this page, which will give you some code examples on how to get inside symbols and do things. And I'm going to show. I'm going to do one of those right now. So this is where I found this code. Okay. So I'm going to go back, and uh, let's go. Let's go find my code. All right, so I'm on button symbol, and I was doing a hover, or a mouse over. So now I'm going to do a control V and just paste that. So the symbol, I'm going to get a symbol called, and we were calling that BTN SYM. So we're going to go inside button symbol, and we're going to stop on the mouse over at the one second mark. Now I put 1,000 because it's 1,000 milliseconds is one second. 
Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to hit the plus sign and do a mouse out. And on mouse out, I'm going to say uh, same thing, but it's going to be called in the same name, B-T-N-S-Y-M. And we're going to stop at the zero second mark. So at the zero mark. And uh, I want to do one more thing. Plus click. And when they click on the banner, I want it to go open a URL. By default, it's going to do a window open on adobe.com. I'm going to change that to 3dcognition.com. And um, it's going to open it in its own window, and that's fine. Or we could put in blank here and have it open up a new window. Done with that. Let's test it out. File, save, file, preview in browser. And does it work? Yes. See the hover? And if I click it, we're at 3D Cognition. So we've just got one more thing to do. What's that? If I play this, it's nice, but it needs to repeat. It needs to loop. So here's how we're going to do a loop. Go to, um, see the stage here? Right above the stage we have actions. And then to the left I've got a little curly bracket. So I'm going to click between those two curly brackets. And I'm going to say on complete. When this thing has completed its action, its, its uh, sequence, I'm going to do a play from, and I want to play from zero. Um, so that'll play everything from zero. So let's just stop it now and save and preview in the browser again. And now you can see it's just going to play over and over again. And it still has its hover and it still works. Okay, not the prettiest banner you've ever seen, but I think you can see the functionality is there. So for those who are wondering about whether Edge is viable as a banner making tool, yes, it is. Um, now, what's it going to make for you as far as files go? Let's take a look at that. Okay, I just opened up my folder. I've got um, a folder called test2 that I built all this stuff in and there's my test2 H test HTML that it made for me that's going to call these various files and if I open up images there's my robot so you can have as many images as you want and they'll all get populated in this folder then you've got your edge includes you're going to need those, this is all jQuery uh, and you're going to need these three files um, so What's in the HTML file? Because that's probably the most important thing for people that are working with putting the banner on a page. Okay, I'm opening up uh, test two now in Dreamweaver. And let's just make the code a little bit bigger. Um, if I can remember where to do that, edit preferences. Code view, just a little bit bigger. Okay. So here's what's happening. Um, this is just a real kind of a dummy HTML file. What you would need to do is put your script call to the name of this file, test2 edge preload js. That's got to be in your HTML file somewhere. If this is going to go into the header of your page, um, this could go right where it is, just where you normally put your um, JavaScript. Then in your style CSS, you're going to want this line. And in the div that you want all this to show up, you can put this line. So you normally would create a div called banner or something like that, and just throw this whole line in there. In fact, close the div, and you should have no problems. So just those three things, and you can put this in any page you want, and uh, it should work fine. And I've used this in HTML, CSS sites, and I've used this in WordPress sites, same basic concept. The only problem with WordPress is you've got to do a little more thinking about which template it's going to go in. Is it going to go in your home PHP template because it's only going on the home page banner area? Or is it going to go in the uh, header PHP file because it's going to be on all of your pages and you want it in every header? 
those are the kind of things that may be different with um, WordPress. But other than that, it's pretty simple to set up. So yeah, you'll need all those files. You need to upload them all to the server. And here's one I did that's a little bit uh, cleaner. Um, so it's got the hover. I've got the graphic I inserted. And it's got some sliding text. And it just cycles. Okay, so for doing simple banners, Adobe Edge works pretty well.